Good evening. Before I address the eighth grade students, I'd like to take a moment to point out the emergency exits. We have four in the back and two up front on the sides. I welcome all of you to Harborside's Moving Up Ceremony for the 2018-2019 school year. I want to thank all the families and friends, along with our distinguished guests, for coming to tonight's celebration that ends one journey, but starts another one. With us tonight in the audience is Superintendent Dr. Kataya, Assistant Superintendent Dr. Fedigan, and Chief Operating Officer Mr. Richard Telly. Also with us tonight are Board of Ed members Mrs. Glennon and Mrs. Casey, along with Mayor Blake. Thank you for attending. When I was preparing my speech tonight, I reflected on what teachers communicated to me at the end of my middle school years. I scribbled out, down several words, and as I read them out loud, I noticed a theme, and ironically, these same words were echoed by my football and baseball coaches for years. Now please understand the way the coaches said it back in the 80s was much harsher than the teachers said. <laughs> what they, the theme that came across was about taking risks and making mistakes was not a bad thing. Additionally, the message of finding my passion was interwoven into these messages. As a young teenager, I had teachers and coaches that would encourage me to take risks and learn from them. What they knew, and I did not at the time, was that mistakes help us participate in a full life of experiences. Our great students on stage tonight, I say to you this, make mistakes in life. It's part of it. The trick is not to fear them, but to learn from them as they increase your ability to handle any challenge that will come your way. The second theme, passion. It's like the force from Star Wars. Instead of the energy to move objects and do mind tricks, it's the force of emotion that keeps you going. It is so powerful that you can accomplish and succeed anything you set your mind to. In fact, passion is often thought of as the driving force behind success and happiness, which allows all of us to live better lives. Take Albert Einstein, for instance. I have no special talents. I'm only passionately curious. I don't know about you, but I'm glad and thankful that Einstein was passionate about the world around us. To the class of 2019, I challenge you to take advantage of everything high school has to offer you in regards to academics, athletics, and community service. Don't be a passenger in life. 
be the pilot. And find things that you're passionate about and willing to learn from your mistakes to find and define your authentic life. On behalf of the staff at Harborside, I wish you all the best and I look forward to hearing where your journey takes you next. As Harriet Tubman once said, every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember, you have within you the strength, the passion, and the passion to reach for the stars to change the world. Thank you. At this time, I want to take a moment to acknowledge the hard work and dedication of Mrs. Jamie Winokur. She has given to Harborside over the last four and a half years, as she will also be moving on at the end of the school year. I am proud to call her a colleague, a confident friend, and many times partner in crime. During her time at HMS, Mrs. Whitaker has dedicated her time to making student experiences at school the best they can be while supporting teachers and families in a variety of areas. I am confident Mrs. Whitaker will thrive in her role at, as principal at Kath Penn Meadow. Our loss is Kath Penn's gain. Thankfully, thankfully for HMS, Mrs. Whitaker's impact on our school will continue as she will send many students to us in the years to come. Thank you, Mrs. Whitaker, for making a lasting impression on the students, families, and staff at HMS. You will always be part of the Penguin Waddle. It is a great pleasure. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Whitaker. <laughs> it is with great pleasure that I now introduce Skylar Gusty as she will address the class of 2019. Said, but it's not really how life works. Who says that when one door opens, you can't turn around and open it again? And if that door can be opened, then can't all of them be opened and reopened? What the doors really represent are opportunities. And while opportunities are mostly temporary, they never really go away. If you miss a chance the first time, that doesn't mean it's gone. It could come around again or you can go and find it. Just like opportunities, a door never really closes permanently. And at any time, there are doors all around us that are wide open. We just miss these open doors because we are too focused on finding the right door, which we think is the one that opened when the first one closed, or the door that other people say is the right one for us. Life isn't a straight path. There's no definite trail to follow that guarantees the perfect life. Life is like a choose your own adventure book. Any trail you follow can bring a challenge or a work, a treasure or a problem, but you can always go back to the beginning, choose a different path, and try again. In life, you can go back through a door or open a new one. You can backtrack or go forward. You are able to open a door before the one you're at closes or even stand in between doors. Going into high school is a door opening, and the middle school door is closing, but not necessarily forever. At any time, some of our journeys could lead back to middle school, maybe as a teacher or with a younger sibling. Middle school has helped us to, to tackle the challenges that the open doors may bring, and has given us the ability to persevere through difficult times in our lives. Harborside Middle School has provided us with opportunities to test the waters and see which doors we want to go through during our lifetimes. Some opportunities that Harborside gave us was the ability to take a language and join clubs. We were also able to participate in fundraisers and citywide events. This has shown us a small picture of the real world and has given us a chance to see what we may want to do with our lives. These paths aren't exact, and the trails could become a spiderweb of events. Our job is not to find the open door, because open doors are everywhere. 
Our job is to choose which open door we want to go through. Thank you. I would now like to invite Mr. Steve Gottlieb, Ms. Jamie Whitaker, and Ms. Maria Mackin to the stage for the presentation of the Academic Awards. Now for our academic awards. Academic Excellence in Social Studies, Aylin Burns. And Ella Tutlas. Academic Excellence in Science, Stephen Mingrone. And Ananya Saletti. Academic Excellence in Reading, Caitlin Russell. And Skylar Agresti. Excellence in Writing, Melissa Santano Soto. And Anna Romano. Academic Excellence in Mathematics. Demi Carapico. And Giselle Goldback. <laughs> Academic Excellence in Algebra. Angelia Liu. and Zachary Warzel. <laughs> Academic Excellence in Spanish, Amanda Regina. <laughs> and Angus Chang. Academic Excellence in Art, Thomas Gauthier. And David Grant Ecker. Academic Excellence in Technology Education, Dominic DeFederico. and Liam Fedigan. <laughs> Academic Excellence in Health, Winter Granary. <laughs> and Kaylee Morgan. Excellence in Choral Music, Emma Vecino. And Madison Ricky. Academic Excellence in Life Skills, Stephen Marshall Fermender. Academic Excellence in Instrumental Music, Cole Plyman. <laughs> and 
and Liam Young. Academic Excellence in Streams, Marco Boschauer. and Angelia Liu. <laughs> Academic Excellence in General Music, Faith Bravo. <laughs> and Vasily Martinez. Physical Fitness Award, Jared De Janeiro, and Lauren Schiaffolino. The Respect Award, Macy Rascal. and Ryan Giambra. And the overall academic excellent in all areas, Liam Young. And Sebilola Obiami. I'm now going to have Maria Mackin announce our next award. Good evening, everyone. Uh, tonight, uh, I would like to speak about the Dylan Fortunato Award, which is in honor of our former student and hero. Dylan was diagnosed with leukemia in 2007 and lost his battle seven years later. I had the pleasure and honor of knowing Dylan during his three years here at Har Harborside. He was the epitome of love, hope, faith, and perseverance. He was always concerned for others and never focused on his own illness. He inspired everyone around him he was truly a profile <clears throat> in courage. And I quote, the true test in life does not occur when all is going well. The true test takes place when we are faced with challenges. This year's recipient of the Dylan Fortunato Award comes to school each day with great attitude that has a positive impact on his peers. He always makes sure to beat the staff in the building on his way in and out of class. He's very conscientious and a hard worker, checking in with his teachers to make sure all his work meets expectations. His teachers have enjoyed watching him mature during his three years at Harborside and know his future is full of success. It is with great pride that I present this award to Ryan Fortunato. We ask that you please 
hold all of your applause until the names have been called. Nicholas Agresti. Skylar Agresti. Jack Aliberti. Dylan Ames. Jake Arnett. Gustavo Bajus Perez. Arlene Bannerbaum. Olivia Bernard. Anthony Brazel. Faith Bravo. Antonia Brown. Brendan Buckner. Aileen Burns. Samantha Burns. Marco Bouchard. Samuel Caldwell. Devin Calvin. Genesis Cano. Demi Carapisa. Victoria Sineri. Johan Chen. Angus Chen. Connor Chirico. Kyle Benedict Chi. James Clinton. Mia Coppola. Hunter Costantini. Jack Cushman. Julia Dia. Joseph DeFridis. Kaylee DeGenera. Jared DeGenera. Aaron DeGuzman. Sierra Diaz. Dominic DeFederico. Xavier Douglas. Gabriel Duddy. Ty Duggan. Lila Egger. Jalen Eddy. Ariely Estrella. Mirza Bamita. Liam Fedigan. Kara Fisher. Joseph Flynn. Michaela Fortier. Ryan Fortunato. Stephen Marshall Fermander. Thomas Gauthier. Ryan Giambra. Giselle Goldman. David Grant Ecker. Riley Grunow. Winter Warini. Kaylee Guzzi. Malachi Hart. Riley Hodges. Jax Iovino. Luke Jackson.
Kersner. Janeiro King. Maya Lasorsa. Jordan Rose Lawrence. Austin Lemire. Angelia Lou James Lorenzetti Zitlali Lazada Sandoval Aya Maru Antonio Caitlin 
Aiden Russell. Aiden Ryan. Lewis Sabo. Melissa Santana Soto. Christopher Schuler. Connor Seabrooks. Katie Service. Trudy Simhadri. Madison Smith. Ananya Saletti. Dylan Sewell. Tyler Sewell. Lauren Strafalina. Lucas Swarovski. Luke Thomas. Adam Tomasco. Adam. Jasmine Trinidad. Ella Tutless. Emma Vecino. Ellie Van Wavering. Brianna Vargas. Joshua Verdejo. Alexandria Vincent. Tyler Vinhays. Jackson Velosky. Jacob Ward. Haley Wilcox. Bailey Wilson. Steven Whitteman. Ava Wojanowski. Hunter Wojanowski. Zachary Warzel. Matthew Wright. Cal Wrigley. And Liam Young. Good evening. I would like to present to you the class of 2019.